Hi, my wonderful writers. So you just watched a video, a silly video on adjectives. And remember adjectives are describing words that help make reading and writing more exciting. So like the rest of this week, we will be um, adding more things that make our writing pop because next week, remember, we talked about we will be um, able to share one of our final pieces in an author's chair with all of our friends. So today, we are going to work on adding adjectives to all of our pieces of writing. So I want you to try to add at least three to five adjectives. Remember, those are describing our nouns in all of our pieces of writing. So you should have been able to um, print. If not, maybe take a picture of it so you can look at it or copy it in your writer's notebook. But same thing, I want you to cut it and glue it to one of the back pages of your writer's notebook. Okay, so this has a lot of great ideas of adjectives, which are describing words that we can add to our writing. So I'm gonna model in one of my pieces of writing and then I'm gonna send you off to do it on your own. So I am going to add amazing adjectives to my story where I wrote about swimming with the dolphins, all right? So a good idea is to maybe get like a colored pencil or something different that kind of pops out as you're adding them and you should have skipped lines so then that's perfect for us to be able to add and edit our writing. So I'm gonna start with my first sentence. One day in Mexico, my family and I got to go swimming with dolphins. Well, that day I remember was really hot and sunny. So I'm going to add something and it's called a little carrot. I don't know if you can see, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. Can you see it better? And I'm going to, so I can just add it right on that line. One hot and sunny. So if I decide to edit, or sorry, to publish this piece, if this is the piece that I'm going to publish later, I'll remember when I rewrite it to add that in. I won't leave it like that forever. So one hot sunny day in Mexico, my family and I got to go swimming with dolphins. We were so excited. To begin with, we all had to put on our life jackets. Okay, well a life jacket is a noun. It's a thing. I'm gonna describe that. It was squishy and yellow. So we had to put on our I'm gonna add my little carrot again, and I'm going to just write it up here. Squishy and yellow. So these are great, remember, visualizing words. You can close your eyes and you can picture me probably right now in a big squishy yellow life jacket. And then we got into the pool. All right, pool is another noun. It's a place, right? You can go there. So I'm gonna describe the pool. The pool was really warm and huge because dolphins could swim in it. So I'm going to add my little carrot again. We got into the huge and warm pool. After that, the trainer blew her whistle. Oh, whistle. I could describe that. Her whistle was shiny. And the dolphin came right next to us. Oh, I want to describe the dolphin. And I'm going to have to find a picture of me with the dolphin and send it to you guys because, oh, that dolphin was the most beautiful dolphin I've ever seen. So I'm going to add beautiful. Okay, and remember, I'm pretty good at adjectives, but use your list to help you, okay? Finally, it was my turn to swim with the dolphin. I held onto her fin. All right, 
Now, I don't know if you've ever touched a dolphin before, but I would have thought that a dolphin was kind of slimy, but when I touched the dolphin, it was almost like rubber. I don't know if you've ever felt a wetsuit, but that's what it felt like. So I'm gonna say I held on to her, ooh, I like color words. So I'm gonna say gray, rubbery fin. Now remember, all of these adjectives are helping the reader wanna read the story. They're making us excited. If you don't have any adjectives, oh, sorry, oh, I fell asleep for a minute. I will fall asleep. You need to make it exciting. Since I am going to be listening to all of those stories, I am excited. Keep me excited about it, okay? So let's see. I held onto her gray rubbery fin and got to swim with her around the pool. It was so amazing. I'm gonna add another adjective. It was so peaceful. Something about it made me just feel like I was a mermaid. It was so peaceful and amazing. So and is not an adjective, but if I just put it was so peaceful, amazing, that doesn't make sense. So when you are editing, this is called editing. We're adding to our story, right? You have to do what I did. You have to read each sentence. And now I'm gonna go back and in my head, I'm gonna reread it all with the adjectives to make sure it makes sense. Because you might come down to the bottom and if you didn't add that and, you're gonna realize, wait, that doesn't make sense. So after you're done adding your adjectives, I want you to take a little bit of time and reread them to make sure they make sense, okay? So again, today, you are going to make sure you have your adjective paper. Hopefully you were able to print it out and then you can kind of trim it up a little bit and glue it into your writer's notebooks. You can put that in the back with all of our other important stuff. And you are gonna take some time today to go and add adjectives, at least three to five. Now I did a lot more just because I love adjectives. I think that makes the story so exciting. Helps you visualize it, makes you feel like you're there, right? Um, so you are going to add three to five adjectives to all of your pieces of writing, not just one. So not your, just your memory. You're going to add it to all of them. And I think if I'm right, you have five or maybe six pieces of writing, okay? So I want you to find your quiet spot. Put on some relaxing music. Say, Alexa, play meditation music. That's a good one. And just get in your zone and start adding all your adjectives to your writing. I am so excited for this piece of the process in your writing. And I cannot wait for next week for you to be able to share your favorite piece. All right, get busy. Talk to you later.